Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumay Bishrash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you about cyclopentadiene. So this is the molecule cyclopentadiene. Its reaction with this methane derivative and you have to say what is the right answer of this question. So for that purpose four options are provided and one of them is the right answer. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried by yourself just my turn to give you the right answer. So look at this molecule, this cyclopentadiene, we know it's a five member diene molecule fine and this molecule is a pretty interesting. So this is actually chlorodifluoromethane. This is. So one is chloro, another is proton. So one question I'm asking student, these molecule have three types of bond. One type is this carbon fluorine, second type carbon chlorine, third type carbon hydrogen. Which is the strongest bond? All are covalent bond. In this molecule, which is the strongest covalent bond? Don't worry, this answer you will get after some time. But I suggest to you student, please pause the video, write it in the comment box. I want to see that how many know this. Now, this is this molecule react with this and a second word is pyrolysis. What this pyrolysis means? This pyrolysis means decomposition of this compound by heating. So simply I can say that it's a high temperature reaction. Actually I could have been mentioned that this high temperature but this word is mentioned in a different way so I have also mentioned. Your exam examiner can also ask in this way that's why I have changed. So, pyrolysis means decomposition, what will be the product? So, question, who will decompose? There is a chance, you may think that, sir, this cyclopentadiene can dimerize. One will act as diene, another will act as dienophile, and in this way, through 4 plus 2 uh, addition of del solder reaction, it can dimerize, but that's a reversible reaction student. And pyrolysis, it's a high temperature reaction. So, that's an equilibration we will not consider. Inside the equilibrium, both cyclopentadiene and its dimer, both will be there. But, there is a, another chance. <clears throat> means decomposition of this molecule. Why? Actually student if you look at this carbon fluorine bond is the strongest bond and remember CF this course bond is one of the strongest covalent bond. Strongest covalent bond. That's why carbon fluorine bond is completely inert and I guess you have seen one polymer Teflon or PTFE which is used in non-stick cookware. So that thing doesn't decompose easily. Okay. By the way, it's not healthy. I don't recommend to eat on Teflon container. So now I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this PTFE polymer. You may visit for better understanding. So from this we can understand that what can happen. Under this thermal decomposition condition, both this H and Cl can eliminate and what they will produce this Cl and this hydrogen will eliminate from this and it will produce this HCl molecule plus this molecule. This molecule has a unique name. The name is difluorocarbene. Okay. So this is a very interesting molecule because this carbene is not student triplet. Generally if you compare this CF2 double dot versus CH2 double dot this <coughs> CH2 double dot is a singlet carbene. So this is singlet carbene although this CF2 is actually a triplet carbene because the vacant pure orbital can undergo conjugation with the lone pair present on this fluorine. Okay. So that's a different issue I am not going. So this carbene you may consider it is actually a reactive reaction intermediate electron deficient molecule because this central carbon is actually a six electron species and we know this carbene can undergo cyclopropane ring formation with alkene. Simon Smith reaction I have already discussed a dedicated lecture. So what it can do? This CF2 can act as uh, triple bond forming reaction. So, what how it can happen? You may consider in this way. So, this p orbital is vacant and this lone pair in sp2 hybridized orbital it can act student it can act as nucleophile. So, you may think that it will attack here and this bond will come to this CF2 and in this way a three member ring or cyclopropane derivative. Cyclopropane derivative will be produced fine. This is the product. So, this will, so actually there are 
two reaction based on heat. First one is pyrolysis means decomposition of this methane derivative means difluorochloromethane to this carbene and second these molecule will undergo rearrangement. What rearrangement? So you can expect that this molecule will break it will go and this F will leave. So what it will produce? Just imagine student it was a five member ring initially and the in between these bond got broken. So right now one, two, three, four, five, six. So it will produce a six member ring. Let's draw the six member ring. Now let's number one, two, three, four, five, six. Now in position one, one fluorine left as F minus. So it's gone. So only one F will be there. This is the thing and position 6 there is a positive charge because this bond is got broken. So if broken it will create a positive charge and not only that fluoride ion will be there outside as counter anion. But and 3 and 4 in between 3 sorry in between sorry in between 1 2 there is a double bond in between 3 4 there is another double bond this is now a question that what will be the fate actually if you look at there is one proton student this is proton and we know that fluoride it's a mild base so what it can do it can abstract this proton and what is the driving force for this reaction because after this it will produce an aromatic compound so aromaticity is the driving force student now in this way what it will produce this is a fluorobenzene derivative so remember student this method is a very good method for fluorobenzene preparation fluorobenzene preparation from cyclopentadiene because i guess you have seen diazonium salt mediated method but that's little uh, problematic compared to this, this reaction is far more easier Okay, so in this case the fluorobenzene is the product and by the way, this is the reference of this problem. You can visit for this reference for better understanding. Now, if you look at this in presence of heat, it decomposes and produces this CF2, what I told this CF2 plus HCl and there is an interesting thing that two CF2 molecule can dimerize together. So in this way they can dimerize and they can produce C2H4 or you can say tetrafluoroethylene which is the monomer of Teflon. So if you polymerize you will get Teflon here. So you will understand this chemistry better in the video of Teflon. I shall provide the link in the description box for better understanding you can see. So you can see here it reacts and produces this three member ring which undergo one molecule of HF elimination and which produces this fluorobenzene. Now, what is the answer of this problem? Obviously, option C, fluorobenzene is the answer. Now, if you don't know student, then how can you come up to the right answer? By the way, uh, for this purpose, I believe it is difficult to guess, but I'll give some very crude logic how to remember. I have taken a difluoro compound. So here, two fluoro, one chloro and one hydrogen. So CF3 group not possible from that point of view second second this in this case all the hydrogens of this sp2 hybrid hydrogens means i i'm talking about these all hydrogens so these are replaced by fluorine like a electrophilic substitution but in this molecule it is actually a nucleophilic delta minus not possible so this you can neglect third now i have taken cf means two fluoro attached to same carbon but here you can see this two fluoro attached to meta direction this is also looks quite uh, quite odd so from that point you can eliminate but uh, one thing remember student i do not have any straight cut tricks for this problem better you read and try to remember so this is the answer so in conclusion what you have learned today that CA bond is one of the strongest covalent bonds so it is reluctant to break and actually it is very difficult to break but under that pyrolysis condition that breakage may be possible and this difluorocarbon is stabilized by the conjugation with the fluorine atoms lone pair hence it is singlet in nature. It reacts with carbon carbon double bond resulting in a cyclopropane ring formation with a CF2 unit attached. 
Now this three member ring is strained and it can undergo ring expansion to fluorobenzene and in this case I suggest you students recall the Reimertiemann reaction of pyrrole with dichlorocarbene CCl2 similar carbene and in this case it also produces three chloropyridine. I have already discussed a dedicated lecture please visit I shall provide the link. Now CF bond in fluorobenzene is stronger due to partial double bond character. What do I mean by the statement? So just look at here this is a fluoro this are bond so these lone pair you can see it could be donated here and it can go in this way ortho later on this negative charge could push and it can go there it could be para so in this way you can see that fluorobenzene can donate its lone pair into this benzene nucleus and this donation is very good among all the halogens because fluorine carbon orbital overlap is better second row second row overlap is better but remember this donation is called the plus r effect okay and fluorine also has a minus i effect sigma withdrawing and in this context this is an exceptional case where minus i is greater than plus r so fluorobenzene is ortho para orienting but deactivating this is a very interesting information please remember now uh, that thing I have written fluorobenzene is ortho para orienting and hence it's and actually it's deactivating in nature because minus i dominating so it's withdraw more electron density from the benzene compared to how much it is donated to the benzene. Now this is the end of discussion I believe this video will be useful I thanks everyone for watching if you really enjoy the content of my channel then please help this channel to grow and if possible please visit my two other channel for better understanding. See you in my next video bye bye.